have to tell me they're a cop if I ask, right? I can't go to jail for not paying a debt, can I? The courts in this state favor women. Men have no rights in a divorce, do they? I've heard if the police don't read you your rights, you can't be convicted. Fact or fiction? Listen in as we break apart the myths and get the truth with the top legal experts from around the country. Welcome to Legal Mythbusters Radio with your host, Corey Vandenberg. Okay, this is Corey Vandenberg, the host of Legal Mythbusters Radio, and today I have on the show with me a good friend, Greg Stokes in Atlanta, Georgia. He is uh, an attorney with Stokes and Kapitsky. Now, Greg, you've been practicing for 36 years, and uh, you attended law school at, well, you, you went to school at NYU, and then where did you attend law school again? John Marshall Law School here in Atlanta, Georgia. Fantastic. So you, you're practicing right there in your same area. That's, a, that's yes, yeah. fantastic. And uh, today's myth that we're going to talk about is, I think it's a very common problem that people uh, deal with today in uh, if they are involved in an accident. And that is the, uh, this idea that insurance is going to take care of everything. That's why we bought insurance. So I don't have anything to worry about. And if I'm involved in an accident, I can probably just handle it without a lawyer. What do you say to that opinion? Well, it, when somebody says they can handle it themselves and they don't need a lawyer, it, it's kind of like uh, saying the same thing about being a doctor. You know, they got a medical problem and they need surgery. They're going to do the, the surgery themselves. Mm. It, it's, it's kind of the type of thing that uh, it pays off to have a professional. And um, if you look at the statistics, a person that is represented by an attorney usually will receive more than three and a half times the settlement that they that are entitled to receive. If they're doing it without an attorney, they're going to get less. If they do it with an attorney, most assuredly, the statistics show that they're going to receive more. And uh, a lot of people think that that if they as long as they have insurance, they're fine. Is there anything they really ought to be? Double checking on and considering uh, with that assumption? Yeah, most people here in Georgia, particularly, they are under the impression that they bought insurance from their insurance agent and they bought full coverage and they think everything's taken care of. Well, unfortunately, full coverage is full coverage under the law. That is, minimum liability limits and minimum property damage limits. But things like collision, comprehensive, um, lost wage replacement, medical payments coverage, and uninsured and underinsured coverage is usually not included in full coverage. So right off the bat, the person that purchases the insurance and is in an accident is usually in, under the false impression that everything's going to be taken care of. The other problem that they run into is they believe the adjuster on the other side is their friend. The adjuster for the insurance company is not your friend. They're going to take a recorded statement and try to use it against you later, and they're looking for ways not to pay the claim. So we suggest always to a potential client, please talk to us first before you talk to any insurance company. We want you to report the claim to your own insurance company because there's policy provisions that require you to do so. But please don't talk to the other side until you've talked to an attorney. Now, would you say that that applies for both? Um, there's there's two issues when you've been in an accident. There's there's whether or not you've been injured, and then there's whether or not any of your property has been damaged, like your car. Now, would your advice apply to both circumstances? Well, if it's property damage only, you might be able to handle that by yourself. I mean, if, if it's a clear-cut accident report, the other person's been cited with the crash, there's no dispute as to liability. Nine times out of 10, the insurance carrier for the other side is going to try to settle the property damage quickly and fairly. So property damage is that one area where the person can go it alone, but they should call an attorney just to make sure that, that they're fully versed on what's going on. Because even in property damage, that insurance adjuster might take an adversary tone and decide that you're at fault and he doesn't want to pay the claim. So he starts taking a statement in order to generate facts against you so he can deny your claim. You got to be careful. And if, uh, if you're not, if somebody found themselves in this circumstance, what types of ramifications then can come out of that type of scenario? 
Well, I, I'll give you an example of a trucking case we recently handled. And after about two years of litigation, we were able to settle it for over $900,000. But the real battle uh, revolved around the statement that our client gave within 12 hours of the crash. An insurance adjuster had come to her home. She had been released from the hospital. She was heavily dis- sedated, and she was very fuzzy in her description about what happened. She was on the expressway. She was stopped in heavy traffic, and this truck crashed into her and completely totaled her vehicle. Yeah. It looked like a, a smashed beer can. I mean, it, it was a mess. And there was really no dispute as to what happened. But the driver came up and said, no, she cut in front of me and stopped short, and that's why I crashed into her. So the adjuster, when he went to her house to take the statement, he was trying to get her to say things that were favorable to the truck driver's version. Luckily, her husband walked in uh, on the interview, cut it short, and although it generated uh, enough problems for us where they were disputing liability, but at the end of the day, at mediation, we were able to get it settled for her. But uh, we wish she had called us first before she started giving that statement. So take this type of a circumstance and extend out into kind of a worst case scenario. What could happen if you don't, uh, you know, if you fall into some of these traps or you say the wrong thing or you try to handle it on your own? What are some of the, the implications? Uh, I'll, give you a, I'll give you a bunch of things that we see happen almost every day. Okay. One of them is um, one out of four people don't have insurance. And if you are wise, you'll purchase uninsured or underinsured motorist insurance. That protects you in that case. And your own insurance company will pay the property damage and pay the personal injury. But that UM insurance comes with a policy provision that says you have to give them notice within 30 days. And if you don't notify your own insurance company, immediately you may find that they will void that coverage. People don't know that. So the first thing we we tell people is if you're in a crash, make sure you put your own insurance company on notice immediately, or you may find that you've voided out some of your coverages. And it's become very, very popular here in Georgia for insurance companies to deny UM claims. Interesting. Where the person paid for the benefits and their own insurance company is trying to prevent them from recovering them on a contract provision. And their their argument is that they're required to report the accident within 30 days of the accident happening? Exactly. And if they fail to do so, they voided the coverage. Interesting. Oh. Always looking. That's well, a for, problem. Yeah, it's always looking for a loophole. So, so we, we 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 give three points of advice every time. If you're in a crash, the first thing you want to do is tend to your medical problems. The second thing you want to do is immediately inform your own insurance co- company of the crash. And the third thing to keep in mind is the insurance adjuster for the other company. And the insurance adjuster for your own company is not necessarily your friend. You know, people call us up and it doesn't cost them anything to talk to us on the phone. Yeah. And we can give them that basic advice because, you know, the whole world is turned upside down and they're pretty upset and they just don't know what to do. And they're kind of afraid of attorneys and they don't realize attorneys work on a percentage uh, contingency phase. So they, they receive their payment at the end of the case and there's no upfront cost for the potential client. It costs you nothing to talk with an attorney. And a lot of people are afraid because they've never dealt with an attorney and they're thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to pay them all kinds of money just to talk with them or meet with them. Yeah, It is rare that you will see a, a personal injury attorney charge any money up front whatsoever. Almost all of us operate on a percentage of recovery at the end of the case. We only get paid when you get paid. That makes sense. So to, to wrap this up, what would, uh, you know, I always like to give people uh, not only advice they can use if they're in the circumstance, but preventative advice. And so what could somebody do who, if, if somebody listens to this in the Georgia area and, and they want to be preventative, what advice would you give them? Well, this is self-serving, but our, our toll-free number is 800-750-50. My name is Greg Stokes. Call us. We'll help you out. If you're, you're, if you're uncertain about hiring an attorney, go to the internet. You can Google us. You can look at other attorneys listed um, and, 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 and talk to a few different firms. 
who you're comfortable with, who, who shows uh, empathy and understanding and has a track record for doing a good job for people that are injured, give them a call. I think you'll be pleased. And, and if you're comfortable with it, and, 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 and I really want to stress that many, many times you're going to recover far more money with an attorney than you will recover without an attorney. That's what people are afraid of. A lot of people settle their liability claim and forget about the uninsured and the underinsured motorist policy. Yeah. When we settled a case yesterday, a person came in, there was a hundred from the liability, but we also collected two additional $25,000 UM policies for them that they were not even aware they were entitled to. That's incredible. So, uh, so a parting piece of advice for people is to contact their insurer. And uh, what would you advise them to do on minimums and the underinsured coverage? Okay, uh, I would, I would carry more insurance in the minimum if you can't afford it. I understand that. When it comes to uninsured motorist insurance, always purchase that. It's very inexpensive. You might find that you're paying eighteen dollars for UM insurance uh, for six months. It's very inexpensive. Yeah. And it's right there. And, and just remember that one out of four people, even though this is a mandatory insurance state where you have to have insurance, one out of four people don't have insurance. And they're usually the ones that are causing the accident. So if you sue them and they don't have insurance, you might collect nothing. But if you have uninsured motorist insurance, it will be there to protect you. And is there That's a, the best thing you could do. And is there a difference between underinsured and uninsured, or is it all in the same thing? All right. In Georgia, it's the same thing. It's one and the same. Yeah. So if a person has no insurance and has a $25,000 uninsured policy, they get to use it. If a person has, the other person has $25,000 in coverage, and you have $25,000 in UM insurance, and it's an add-on policy, then you can collect another twenty-five on top of it. I see. And, and there are plenty enough cases where the person might start out with 25000 in medical bills. Oh, yeah. So having that additional coverage, and if you have UM insurance, take a look at your policy and look at how cheap it is. It's cheap insurance. It protects you. It makes more sense because usually the person that's responsible enough to buy insurance isn't the one that's causing the crash. But you need to protect yourself from people that don't have insurance or don't have enough insurance. In this state, uninsured motorist and underinsured motorist is one and the same. But that, that varies from state to state. Great. Wonderful advice. Thank you so much for being on with us today, Greg. If somebody is in the Georgia area and has questions, what's the best way to, to reach out and get a hold of you? Easiest way is the 800 number. 1-800-700-5050. Just give us a call. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time, Greg. You're welcome. Thanks for listening to Legal Mythbusters Radio. More great content coming next week. Please note, this show does not represent legal advice for your specific situation. You should always seek counsel for your specific case. Listening to the podcast does not constitute the forming of an attorney-client relationship.